No moi taas, it's Mikko and his crappy webcam. I dug up yet another old slideshow for you guys. This one is about Vappu, which is a Finnish name for a celebration of May Day or May 1st. And this is a pretty big thing in Finland and it's not really a thing here in the Philippines at all. So I'll tell you a few things about it. So this is actually celebrated on two days. The main festivities take place on April 30th, so Vappu, called Vappu Aatto or Vapun Aatto in Finnish. And then May 1st, which is Vappu Päivä or Vapun Päivä is the day when you recover from hangover after your hard parties. And Vappu is one of the four major public holidays in Finland. The other big three are Christmas, New Year and Midsummer. So this is a carnival-like celebration of the working class and often university students. It also coincides with coming of spring, so there's a chance that it is celebrated in the nice weather after long winter. Or it might not be, it might be still snowing on Vappu, depending on where you are. And Finland is not the only country that celebrates this. There are similar festivities, for example, in Germany and the Netherlands, Sweden, in the Baltic countries. In many places it is celebrated in honor of Saint Valberga, a Catholic saint or a nun who lived in the 1700s and whose relics were then relocated in Germany on May 1st, uh, 1870. So the Finnish name Vappu comes from her name. And here's a picture of what Vappu celebration could look like if the weather was good and if there was no coronavirus at all. A lot of people out in the streets. You usually celebrate Vappu among friends or fellow students, sometimes with families, but this is this is not a family celebration like, like Christmas would be. And Vappu does have Christian elements in its history after that saint lady that I mentioned, but these days contemporary May Day is a non-Christian public holiday in Finland. And traditions involve specific foods, some public events, and, and mostly just hanging out with your friends, often consuming alcohol if you are over 18 years of age. In Helsinki you start Vappu with an event where university students place a giant white hat on top of a specific statue in downtown Helsinki. The statue is called Havis Amanda. And there's usually one of the student unions of local universities in the Helsinki area. They uh, place this giant white Ylioppilaslakki, which is kind of a matriculation cap for certain schools in Finland, on the statue at 6 p.m. on April 30th. And this is only in Helsinki, but there are other university towns that have similar traditions. I'll show you a few pictures from this event. So this is the statue itself in downtown Helsinki. The blue building at the back is the Helsinki City Hall. And here's a picture of the event itself. So there's a giant crane that lowers these people on top of the statue and then they place this white cap on her. And then there's a large crowd, of course, observing the event. And here's a close-up of the cap itself. So what they place on top of her is a Ylioppilas Lucky, which is a matriculation cap for Lukio. Lukio is a Finnish academic track school that you would go after mandatory education or after so-called peruskoulu, after grades 1 through 9. And after that you can choose, you go to Lukio, which is an academic track school, or the other option would be vocational school. And then it's common that people from Lukio then move on to study at the universities or vocational universities. Requirements-wise, it's maybe similar to last years of high school and the first year of college in, in the Philippines. But anyway, you get the white cap when you graduate from Lukio. So that's why you see a lot of people wearing those on the streets on May Day, even, even if they've graduated decades ago. So the statue business and all the celebrations, drinking and so on, they usually take place on May Day Eve, whereas then actually on May 1, if you're, you recover from a hangover or you and your fellow students gather for a picnic in the morning of May 1st in some park, weather permitting and so on. And this thing is often very 
uh, weather dependent because at that time of the year the weather can be anything from snow to rain to sunshine and the temperatures may vary so the intensity of the celebration depends on what the weather is like uh, on average midday temperatures around that time of the year in Finland are only around 10 degrees so it's not exactly a beach party but if the weather is nice there can be a lot of people in addition to university students, this is also celebrated as the International Workers' Day. So many trade unions organize events and political marches and events with speeches on that day. Here's a picture of one such event in downtown Helsinki with the Ateneum Art Museum at the back. Now in Finland, trade unions have totally different status compared to the trade unions in the Philippines. So in general, many people are members of various unions and the organization rate in the country is very high. And so trade unions in general, I think, are seen as a as a positive thing. And historically, they are one of the reasons why Finland is a relatively nice place for a low wage worker, even in the current day and age. And the way labor market is organized in Finland historically is that the unions have played a major role in bargaining benefits and salaries for most industries in Finland. So I'm not saying that you should join a union, but I think you should strongly consider joining a union once you start working in Finland, especially after graduating as a practical nurse. Anyway, end of soapboxing and let's move on with Vappu here. So there are some traditional vappu foods that you can have even if you don't have that white cap and even if you don't hit the streets and even if you don't join a trade union march. So traditional vappu foods in Finland entail mungit, which is a Finnish term for a donut, then sima, which is kind of like fermented lemonade, a low-level alcoholic drink that you can also make at home. Another deep-fried goodie in, ad in addition to donuts is tippaleipä, Funnel bread in English, literally droplet bread. And then various snacks, for example, potato salad, sausages, chips, and so on. And here's a picture of munkit. So in a Finnish context, when a person says munkit, they usually mean something that's sugar-coated and deep-fried pulla dough and has a hole in the middle. And here's a picture of that funnel bread. This is also also deep fried and then coated with powdered sugar. Now it might be easier to buy these at the store rather than trying to make them on your own, but it's I mean technically possible. So you would take batter and then pour it into hot cooking oil in a circular pattern and try to make these into these brain shaped balls. And here is sima. So traditionally you usually make this by fermenting honey and water, but these days people usually just replace honey with sugar and then spice it up with a lemon. So it's basically sugar wine. And raisins are often added, like those you see in the glasses on the right. You can make this at home if you want, but you have to plan ahead a little because it takes around a week to ferment. Or you can also buy them at the store. Now some people might have very strong preferences as to whether you should make it yourself or buy at the store. Some people say that the stuff at the stores just resembles lemonade rather than the stuff you could get by fermenting it on your own. But you can try it out both ways and see how it goes. Okay, so that's all I have to say about Vappu. And once you are in Finland you'll definitely notice this thingy taking place if you live in a major city and happen to be around downtown around May Day and if the weather is nice. So if you have any questions about Vappu or May Day celebrations, you can use the, the Finland channel on Discord and we'll do our best to answer. Okay, hyvä, kiitos, moi moi!